He is uh, one of the magic rice producers here in the country. Uh, Uncle Henry, can you, can you share with us a bit more about your story of, of how you started off in the agricultural industry? Uh, even before that, I would like to ask you to, sino bang, ano, sino bang nasa, ano, nasa agri? Sino bang magsasaka dito? Please raise your hand. Ang dami pala. Okay. Sino bang nakatikim ng Doña Maria Rice? Please raise your hand. <laughs> sino na, sino na bang ano, nakagamit ng sterling notebook before? Please raise your hand also. <laughs> I'm, I'm somebody who, ano eh, uh, I know nothing about agriculture kasi I started our business, no? my father, no? as a small bookstore, going to stationaries. We produce one of the best notebooks in the Philippines, in the, uh, this country, the sterling notebooks. But then I venture into agriculture. No? This is a, a non-field. You know? I'm not an agriculturist. Uh, I'm not from UP Los Banos. I'm from UP Diliman. I'm a graduate of engineering. And of course, I took up some uh, management course also. But back at agriculture, right? Diba? That's why I want to know, mga masasaka dito, you should feel proud, ano, nasa agriculture kayo, kasi we are in the business of feeding our people. And I'm happy, no, nandito kami. Ito, meron mga fish para sa mga baboy. Pakagutom ka, may mga chicken dito. Pakailan ka ng kanin, dito naman, bigas. <laughs> may mga mangingisda, nandito naman. Kaya may mga isda rin tayo, no, tapos yun. <laughs> may sigatari pa natin. So, ito, this is one thing no, that's very exciting. Eh. But now at that time, I know nothing about agriculture, but because I know that uh, the only way for us to really be subsufficient, kailan increase ang yield natin per hectare. During the time of, ano, of Arab Estrada, our average yield per hectare is only 2.9 metric tons per hectare. And then when I know that China came out with a hybrid rice that can come, that can produce around 9, 10 tons, 11 tons per hectare. I try to pursue that kind uh, of knowledge, no? Yung mga paano may develop ng isang tropical hybrid rice dito. It took me hundreds of millions of pesos and took me so many years and took me a lot of blood, sweat and tears before I finally came out to the variety called SL8H. SL8H, we came out in 2001-2002. And I'm happy, no? during that time, the government pushed the hybrid rice program. But unfortunately, it's a short-lived program. It's around two to three years. But yet, we have already 200,000 hectares during that time. And of course, later on, with uh, Secretary Arthur Yap, we further try to push the program. But still, ang sinasabi ko kailan natin, we should reach around 1 million hectares. No? Uh, but right now, it's around 350,000 hectares. But with that one, we are able to increase our yield, national average yield per hectare from 2.9 tons to 3.9 tons per hectare. Kaya lang, uh, with only less than 5% of our total hectares planted to hybrid. But if you want to look at Nueva Ecija, Nueva Ecija is 45% planted to hybrid. No? Do you know what's the average yield na sa Nue in the province of Nueva Ecija? It's 8.5 tons per hectare in Nueva Ecija. 45% lang planted to hybrid. Ah. Pag 100% planted to hybrid, baka 11 to 12 tons per hectare. Kaya sabi mga nobo Ecijano, sabi daw, oh, baka during dry season, if they plant our variety, and if they do not produce more than 10 tons per hectare, they consider sila uh, mahinang klaseng magsasaka, either araw-araw nakupusoy o nakasabong. Usually, they can go 10 tons, 12 tons, 14 tons, even as high a 17 tons per hectare. In fact, today, I have some farmers with me here in Mindanao. Ang hybrid natin, hindi lang sa Luzon. It's in Visayas, Mindanao. Mamaya, you can mingle with them or if you want to ask them kung paano, how has hybrid rice changed their life? Practically, I am proud to say that we have practically changed the rural landscape of the farmers in Central Luzon. Pag napunta mo sa Central Luzon, may Baisiya, lahat nakikita mo may bagong Bahay dyan, bagong bubong, bagong pintura, bagong appliances. Pati masasakyan nila, bago rin. Masasakyan nila, either Isuzu Trooper, Montero, Fortuna. Kaya pa nila ng, ano, ng Innova, pang taga Manila lang yan. Sila SUV ang kailangan nila. That is what 
we need no, a vibrant agricultural economy. And I hope that uh, we could really push it farther. No? Uh, I was even talking to the present administration, but I still believe that out of the four or four and a half million hectares of agricultural rice land, if only one million hectares would be planted to hybrid, we can be self-sufficient. I'm willing to put my head in the chopping block. One million hectares, but import patanan bigas and chop off my head. You do not even have to waste a bullet to shoot me. Yeah. Thank you. Pati pangako mo may kay Presidente Duterte yung ulo po niyo, mamaya konte. And, uh, and a little outside, we can go to the mentorship program. They can also consult some of the farmer beneficiaries yes. and mentors.